Hello everyone, Sebastiano here of CodyHouse.co. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use the Forms Editor, which is a web design tool that you can use to set the basic style of your form elements, which you can then export as, as CSS. And now because this is based on the CodyHouse framework, you can just uh, copy this code and paste it into the framework. Specifically, you can replace the content of the forms.scss file. And in doing, in doing so, you are applying uh, this style, the style you set here, to all the form elements um, used into your web project. Okay, so let's see how the tool works. So first of all, we have a series of elements that we can select here in the content sidebar, uh, which we can then customize in the right uh, sidebar where we have the customization tools. Uh, first of all, we have form control. Form control is the, um, the style that you apply to all of your main input elements. So the form control is, uh, think of this as the uh, basic uh, CSS class that you apply to uh, mostly most of your input elements and text areas and so on. So for example, with this selected, we are targeting all of these elements here. Uh, let me show you some, some of the stuff we can do. We can, for example, change the radius, the border radius, 0.25m, for example. Then we can uh, change the padding. We can change the border. For example, I want to decrease the border uh, to one pixel. We can change background color. We're going to replace this uh, color background variable with transparent and so on. You can make any kind of change you want. Uh, you can change the basic style, you can uh, specify uh, the style you want to apply to a selector. Now, for example, if I select focus, now you see you have the style of the focus effect. Now, there is a jump because actually uh, on the focus selector we have a two pixels border, which we can decrease to one pixel. Here you go. Right. Uh, these other elements here, these two elements here, um, area invalid and disabled, uh, they are modifiers of the form control. Which means that these elements, so this is the area invalid and this is the disabled input, uh, they have the form control class applied and then they have other um, uh, HTML tags which allow, allow you to um, overwrite the style of the form control. Uh, in case of area invalid, we want to set a style which means that there is a, an error because the content um, the user has um, put into the uh, input field is, is invalid. So you want to show somehow that uh, there is an error and you know, the classic approach to this is to show um, the red border and uh, some other stuff. So you can uh, specify how you want to visually show to the user that there is an error by modifying the style or once again in the customization tools. Now, because I've used the one pixel um, um, border on all the main, uh, the basic elements, I'm going to do the same for the area invalid and switch the, the, the width of the border to one pixel. Here we go. And I'm okay with that. Now, disabled is an element, is an input element the user cannot interact with. So, uh, for example, by default, we have a mm, cursor of not allowed. You can uh, optionally do other stuff. For example, you can reduce the opacity to 0 0.8. You can, uh, you can apply any style you want. So um, this tool is giving you full control to set the style of all, of all your form elements. So do whatever you want, just play with it. Finally, we have this section here uh, where we have uh, two uh, typography elements. So these are not modifiers. The, when you, you select these elements, you are changing the legend and the form labels. For example, with the legend selected, I can increase the margin to give it some more space like that. And with uh, the label selected, we can go, for example, and um, apply a transform uh, uppercase. We can make the text probably smaller. We can increase the letter spacing to 0.1m. Optionally, we can change uh, the appearance and change the color 
to, for example, a color contrast medium. Yeah, you can make uh, any change you want until you are happy with uh, the result. And yeah, that's it. Now you can save your changes. You can view the code, copy the code and replace the content of the forms.scss file. And uh, remember that uh, like with all the other global editors, when you save changes, if you go and check the components of Kodi House, you are actually updating the style of all uh, our components as well. Now, this is, for example, the character count component where you can type um, some characters and you will see a counter here uh, updating. Uh, and if you refresh the page, now you can see that the new style is applied, the new style for the label, the new style for the form control as well. Right, uh, so that uh, this marks the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.